Hi, this is Justin from Neck Diagrams, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create triad inversions along the neck. You'll be able to create fretboard diagrams like the ones you see here, with inversions across different strings using the scale generator. So let's start with a new blank document. I'll set the fretboard to show labels on any open string notes we create, and I'll hide the footer. I'm cloning the fretboard by holding down the Alt key on Max, that's the Option key, and dragging the thing you want to copy to where you want it. That works for any object type. Now I'm selecting all the fretboards, which you can also do by holding down the Shift key and clicking on them, and opening the scale generator. Find the triad type you want, in this case the major triads, set the root notes, we're going for E major here, and then set the notes to be created between the first and the twelfth frets. Notice that because we selected more than one fretboard before running the scale generator, at the top it says this is the position for fretboard 1. I'm going to be using the exact same position settings for the second fretboard, but if you were creating scale diagrams you could quickly generate different positions for each fretboard this way. The fretboards both now have all E major triad notes, but we want to see the notes on the top three strings and also the next three strings down, so I'm going to clean this up quickly. Just select a note from each of the bottom three strings, then use the function to select all notes on these strings and delete. Now we've got the notes just on the top three strings. And do the same for the other fretboard, this time selecting a note from the top string and bottom two strings. Now I'm going to update the fretboard titles to be more descriptive. I'll move these two notes to join the one at the nut. I could have saved myself this step if I'd selected Allow Open Strings in the Scale Generator. Next I'm updating the title of the other fretboard and tidying up the note at the end, moving it from the 11th fret to the nut. You can see we've now got three sets of triads on each fretboard. From here I'm going to highlight each triad by putting a box around it and colour coding with a different colour for each inversion. Let's switch off the fill so we can see the notes underneath and just keep the outline. I'm cloning the shape by holding down the Alt or Option key, then dragging across to where I want the copy. And again for the last triad on this fretboard. So we've got blue for the root position triad, green for the first inversion, and red for the second inversion. Nearly done now, I'm going to copy and resize the shapes to the matching inversion on the other fretboard. Oh, I've uh, let go of the Option key too soon and I've moved the original shape off the top fretboard instead of cloning it. Never mind, I'll fix that another time. And there we have it, a couple of fretboards with grouped triad inversions.